Hi guys, this is Aegis, and I've got game two, uh, three, game three on MLG Typhoon Peaks. I actually said it was supposed to be Blizzard, but I don't mind, um, as long as both teams are okay with it, whatever. And we've got here Kamwe spawning as the purple Protoss player, and on the other side is a substitute. His name is In Physics. He is going to be playing as the red Terran player, so this is a TVP, and I believe Kamwe is from Team Hagar, and In Physics is with Team Golfwing. Um, if that is incorrect, I'll change it below in the comments, but this is game. Three and uh, it is w currently 1-1. One, one. Um, we've got here, let's check it over here. Yeah, in physics is with Team Golfwang. It is currently 1-1. One, one. Uh, game 1 was... Ugh, I didn't cast Game 1 yet, so I don't know who won that one. And uh, Game 2, I've actually already forgotten. So we've got here uh, just a TVP. Um, it will bring the game to 2-1 in favor of one team or the other. Kamui is playing for Team Hagger. Can he take this game and pull his team ahead and set them up for a Game 4 win? Or will In Physics be able to do it and set them up for an easy Game 4 win as well? So uh, In Physics is going to be scouting over here. He is actually walling in against a Protoss player, so I wonder if he is going to be going for that fast expansion. That probe is going to be slipping into the space. Going to try to continue poking away at these two SCVs. Doing some nice harassment over here. And the SCV is going to be coming over here and not finding uh, Conway. He's got his gateway now over here and his assimilator coming up. And uh, over here we do have our Terran player finishing his wall. He's got that SCV. It might go down. It's got only 5 HP left. He's going to have to run for his life. Um, that probe is going to be keeping an eye out for that SCV. Will it turn around and zap that one to pieces? And more SCVs getting pulled off by in physics to be able to deal with that probe. And a gas deal going down. So this is plenty of harassment coming out of our Protoss player very early in the game. He himself is about to get his cybernetics core, and there it is coming up for Kamui. And uh, our Terran player still has not found his Protoss opponent just yet. We've got the uh, barracks now floating over and grabbing a tech lab and finishing off the wall with a supply depot. There is a Marine out on the field. He can go ahead and try to clean up this assimilator. Um, but it will give his opponent a good idea of what is going on. The SCV is finally headed in the right direction. And that cybernetics core is about to be finished. And over here, the first Zella is on the way. SCV is going to be poking his head in here. Going to be seeing what is going on. And our Protoss player is going to try to surround that SCV. Not quite able to do that. He's going to have to send one more guy in back into the gas. He's got this guy out of the gas. we got three Harvesters back in gas now. The Zella is, does have his work cut out for him. Going to be chasing after that SCV for quite some time. Getting that Stalker before getting his uh, Warp Gate research started. Chrono boosting the Stalker as well. Uh, finally cleaning up. No, looks like not cleaning up the simulator at all we've got one marauder one marine now advancing across the field there is a probe going to be scouting out this bunker and the zealot will be able to come down here and finish this off clean up that scv and uh this bunker is going to be forced to cancel we've got the marine and the marauder chasing forward the bun bunker does get canceled but it's one marine one marauder against that zealot um probe and a uh Stalker, and it does look like our Protoss player does get away without taking much hull damage, except for on that probe. More Marauders going to be popping out over here, going to put on a ton of early pressure. Second Barracks on the way for in physics as well. So he's not interested in that gas at all. Our Protoss player over here getting his second gateway up. He is chrono boosting his warp gate research. He does have a sentry on the way, will be able to force field his ramp and prevent those units from just running up into his base. He is beginning to mine the second gas. He's also got an observer. Oh no, it looks like he's getting a warp prism, so he may be going for some uh, warp prism pressure. We've got the three marauders and one marine going to be advancing forward. Does he get a nice force field off? And the force field goes down. Going to deny those mara marines and marauders the access into the Perdos base. Those marines and marauders are going to have to chill at this bunker. And we've got Kamui now finishing up his cybernetics core research. And he does have the warp gates opening up right now. Three warp gates as well as an immortal coming out now. 
He did cancel his Warp Prism. He's got a couple of Zealots and a Stalker now warping in. Will he decide to push out or will he decide to defend? No, it looks like he's going to be pushing out here. There's just one Marauder over there. Will get easily picked off. Down goes that one Marauder. That's an early loss or in physics. Every unit counts, but he is expanding behind us. There is a second bunker now coming up, and it does look like that second uh, bunker does do some damage to that Zealot, and it looks like they're going to try to lure those units forward and into that range of that bunker, and it does look like Kamui is going to go for it. He's going to try to destroy this bunker. There is one Marine up at the front trying to uh, take out those Stalkers. It does look like more Zealots are going to be joining this mix right now. He needs to quickly get rid of this and maybe take it down. Looks like he will not be able to do that. Does de get salvaged. We've got an Immortal out in the field as well. A War Prism now on the way. Going to try to put some pressure back on in physics. He's retreating all of his units across the field now. He does have his Command Center up or almost up and will soon become a Orbital Command. We've got the Factory coming up as well with the Reactor add-on. And... And two more barracks going to get thrown up right now, so he may be going for a starport real soon and put that starport on this reactor. And we do have our Protoss player now securing his natural expansion. He does have his units in a forward position. He may even try to go for some sort of bust over here. Uh, there's just a few Marauders here and a Bunker, and in physics is actually anticipating this, and he does have his units positioned up front. He does have his SCVs pulled off the line as well. They need to get back to work, because that was just a fake push. Kamui going to be retreating back to that Zelnaga Tower, and there is that War Prism now loaded up with four Zalts advancing into the back of in physics space, as well as a push through the front. Looks like those Zalts are going to be advancing over here on that Bunker. Bunker is getting repaired, and it does look like Kamui is going to back off. Meanwhile, the Zealots in the main doing tons of damage, cleaning up all of the SCVs here. Let's, let's take a look. Two kills on this one, two kills on this Zealot, and uh, Supply Depot is about to go down. Looks like that War Prism is going to also get away with all three Zealots, and Kamui is going to retreat all of his units back to base. Nice play by Kamui to be able to get back into this game. Let's take a look at the workers killed. Eight workers killed in that exchange. Very good exchange, especially just for a couple of Zealots up at the front. Looks like in physics does have a lot of saturation at his natural expansion. He's got to transfer some units back to the main. We've got the Marines also pulled to the back, afraid of yet another War Prism harass. Kamui is moving his War Prism all across the field right now, doing some very nice scouting action. A scan going down does see the saturated Nexus at the natural expansion. Let's take a look at the units tab. We do have 43 probes to just 20 SCVs. So Kamui has a very very strong advantage in this game. He's got two more gateways on the way as well as the robotics bay to get those hard hitting Colossus out onto the field. We've got the War Prism also poking in the backside. Um, in physics, does have most of the units up at the front. We'll see if he's able to deal with this War Prism harassment yet again. Maybe going for a double pronged attack. Some units in the front, some units in the back. And it looks like the Guardian Shield has gone up and it's drop of Zealots into the base over there. Four Seals going down all over the place is going to allow his units to retreat. We've got the Marines and Marauders trying to go after that one Immortal. Looks like that Immortal does get taken down. The Sentries need to be careful. And the uh, Zealots get picked up once again. And the Marine over there trying to get rid of that War Prism does not do it. Going to have to drop those Zealots. Quickly drop Zealots and down goes that War Prism. But it has been worth its weight in gold. Look at the workers killed. 15 kills. And the Kamui is very far ahead. 47 SCVs, uh, 47 probes to the 21 SCVs over on the other side. Um, so... This is a very great exchange here of units for Kamui, and he even has his extended thermal lance on the way. A Colossus is finishing up, dropping a Forge. This is so good for our Protoss player right now. I can't really see in physics being able to play any sort of macro game. He needs to slam out a bunch of units right now and try to break this Protoss player as he's trying to get his heavy hitting units. But there it is. The first Colossus is out in the field. Will be advancing across the field. There's even an observer checking out everything that's going on. Doesn't know that there's a bunker. A couple of Marines and Marauders. No high t higher tech units. Finally, a couple of Medivacs out in the field. But look at the composition of four. Our Protoss 
player. He's going to be getting additional Colossus out. He's got a second one on the way. Extended Thermal Lance is finishing up as well. We've got a Twilight Council on the way. Plus one Ground Weapons is about to finish. We've got In Physics trying to do a drop of his own. But are there going to be enough units at the, his base to defend against the Protoss push. We've got even a Kamui taking a third base, and that drop may actually just fly over that third base, giving our Protoss player plenty of time to react, and he's even got those five warp gates. Gonna be able to warp in some units to defend right away. He's got two Zealots at home as well. The uh, warp the dropship is gonna be flying right over this assimilator. Will in. And it looks like he does skirt the edge of that vision. So we'll see if Kamui has noticed. But there is an attack up at the front. The Colossus doing damage to that bunker. More force fields going down. Going to prevent those Marines and Marauders from running forth. And there's a drop in the back. We'll see how much damage this drop is able to do. Kamui quickly pulling all of his probes back into his main. We've got the drop getting lifted up once again. And here comes the push by Kamui. Going to be positioning his units all at the front. Force fields going down on the side. The, those units are very far weakened and a Protoss ball is huge two Colossus there ripping through those Marines and Marauders the SCV is getting completely decimated as well and Mule kind of running to the backside not sure what to do we've got two Marauders over here trying to defend the first Viking comes out and immediately gets destroyed we've got GG out of in physics and uh, an accident pause, accidental pause from in physics. And this game it does go to Conway and Team Hagger. So Team Hagger has advanced to 2 1, and that does allow Team Golf Wang to choose the map for game four.